training camp battle you are eager to watch? Oh, I I would say the cornerback group as a whole. I mean, I think it, it certainly seems like the starters are almost a lock, although you're not sold. I know that you're not sold on Demo maybe as much. So maybe that spot, but I'm not like against Demo if he's watching. Like I yeah. respect he like Demo's a pro. That's what I want to say about Demo. Yeah. He's a real pro. I respect like Ambry. I don't know. Demo yeah. for sure. But it's like, man, you're 5'10. It's tough to play corner at 5'10. You got to be. And I know Jason Verrett pulled it off, but like you don't have a 40 inch vert and you kind of do get mossed at the catch point. So I don't know. We'll see. You might be right, Nickel. I don't know. He's an Oregon duck. He'll be fine. Let's be clear about that. Uh. <laughs> Respect, Demo. You're, you're, the, you're, you're the truth. You, you work hard. And what's cool is he battles with Ayuk every day. And Ayuk's yeah. an asshole. Like, Ayuk's a prick. And I love that about it. He's so salty. And he gets in Demo's face. And I think that made Demo a lot better. Like, Ayuk's going to whoop you and talk to you about it. So you better show up. Remember your story about how Demo and him argued about who was faster? That spilled over on IG. Did you see that this last I week? I did not. Oh, yeah. Ayuk was like, you're slow. You've always been slow. And Demo's yeah. like, I'm literally faster than you. Like, you can look up the time. Yeah. There's so yeah. many things you could yeah. say. I'm literally, they drafted me because I ran a 4 3. It was pretty funny. I thought it was funny. Yeah. It spilled over yeah. on IG. Demo said something like, Can't wait for camp. Uh, gonna prove I'm faster than you or something like that. And Ayuk's like, Yeah, we'll see about that. Yeah, it's so good. So good. <laughs> like, that's their, that's their back and forth. That's how they're connected. I love it. Last thing with the, with Demo, I feel like part of the reason I didn't like him is his number thirty eight. Oh, it's such Awful. a bad number. Yeah. It's terrible. Now he's yeah. number two. I'm like, okay, all right, yeah, buddy, <laughs> yeah, yeah. thirty eight yeah. is awful. So a terrible he, number. Terrible. The number. worst. Yep. Um, did I give a training camp battle to watch? No. No. Okay. Okay. How about that? How about that slot receiver spot? Jawan Jennings to me is a little overrated. Like he's good, but he drops like all the passes except for some. Sorry, Jawan, but like you drop hella passes and you can't. Like he drops 12% of his targets. What, what can I want to see what Ronnie Bell can do in the slot? I want to see what maybe like. You know, Debo could do in the slot and Ray Ray out. Like, Ray Ray deserves more freaking playing time. J- Jawan's cool, but for a, a possession receiver who's basically like he runs a seven yard route and cuts in or out, and that's essentially what he does, or he blocks, like, I'd like him to catch the ball more often. So I, I kind of want to, I'd like there to be a competition in, in, at that slot receiver spot by Ronnie Bell. He's by Ray Ray. Uh, no, I, I don't think. I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility that he's potentially traded because this is the last year of his deal. And if there are enough receivers that show out and somebody does show that they can take that spot, you might see a late off season trade. I'm not predicting it, but I wouldn't be shocked. Jennings is kind of like the Robbie gold of slot receivers though. Like, yeah, I'll miss a chip shot here or there in the regular season. But if you need it on third down, I got you guarantee I'm not dropping it on third down. That's the way I feel with Jennings. I'm very comfortable yeah. with him getting the ball in that situation. I, I, maybe it's not his fault, but like the where, where you're throwing him the ball over the middle, all that contact, he's expecting yeah. it. He's also trying to make a play after it. Like I, He seems like the kind of guy who starts running before he catches the ball. Mm. I, I don't think he has a hand-eye coordination issue. It's just he's no. in traffic. He knows he's in traffic. He's tough. He knows the hit's coming. He's, he's not trying to catch the ball and take the hit and go down. He's trying to t- catch the ball, take the hit, spin off of it, get more yards. And I respect that. But Well, he's catching it short of the sticks often. And so yes. that'll do that for sure. Yeah. But the downside is you throw him that ball over the middle in traffic, he might take his eyes off it and it might tip off his hands. And I think that that does happen. Like there are some interceptions when you throw to Jennings that are on Jennings, not on you. Yeah. Yeah. So That's true. I want to see if Ronnie Bell doesn't do that. Like... Like Jennings is cool, but he runs a four eight. What about Ronnie Bell? I want to see what Ronnie Bell can do. He looked good in minicamp. I want to see Ronnie. Bell. He's a very willing blocker, also. Yeah, Bell is. Yep. 